Hey guys, what is going on? It is RC Knockout and I am back with another video. Now, if you are new to my channel, my name is Nolan. In today's video, I have got my gas-powered HPI Baja 5B out with me. As you can see, I'm running a different look. Uh, it was finally time to replace the body. Uh, so the body I was running was white. It got pretty beaten up. It had some cracks in it. The last video, I really tore up the back portion and the bottom portion. So I thought, you know what? I may as well invest some money and get a new body. So I actually bought this one on eBay. Um, I don't think it's an authentic HPI body. The reason I say that is because I had to do a lot of cutting for it to fit. Uh, right here, it was touching the suspension arms. It was hanging all the way over here, back here. I had to do some cutting to make it work down in there. So my guess is this is probably a Roven or a King Motor clone body, but somebody painted it up, has a Monster Energy logo, which I thought looked kind of cool. I kind of like the black look. Um, I will leave it linked down below if I can find it, but this might've been a one-off, because I think there was only one available when I bought this, so it might've been one that somebody painted up, but it did actually come in packaging, so I don't know. I'm not exactly sure, but I got this for only like 45 bucks. Not too bad of a price for one that's completely painted already. Uh, I also noticed after the last time I ran this, we broke the shock tower. And I tried gluing it, but obviously my glue job did not work. So I glued this yesterday, and the Gorilla Glue did not hold. So that happened sometime during the other run. I don't have another one of these shock towers uh, at home, so I had to order one. But in the meantime, hopefully we can still run it and it'll be alright. Uh, but this one is, of course, running the 29cc dynamite motor out of my Losi 5T. Uh, it's running a DDM Dominator pipe with a silencer. It's running Hostile Nightmare MX tires. These are the hard compound. So there's not a whole lot of give to them, but they have a very, very aggressive tread pattern. Um, and actually today, guys, we are at my local RC track. So this is going to be a first because I don't think I've ever run my gas-powered HPI Baja 5B here at my local RC track. Now, obviously, the RC track is meant for 110 scale short course. It's not made for 1/5 scale gas-powered, but I thought, why not go ahead, take her out on the track, see how she does. Might uh, also rip around in the grass, do some jumping. I'm excited to test it out, see how it looks with the new body running, and uh, see how she does around the track. A good thing with this being rear wheel drive, we should be able to kick it around the corners, and uh, the corners shouldn't be too difficult. But uh, let me go ahead, get her started up, and uh, we'll jump right in this video. Let's start off with the launch. Alrighty, you guys ready? Get it, go! Uh -huh. Off the track. Maybe we should go rogue. Almost hit the tree. A little bit air. Have to be a little bit careful considering that shock tower is broken. Ooh! And tipped it. Bearing still good. Tumble again. Yeah, this thing's actually extremely difficult to control. 
I'm thinking it's because, well, it only has rear brakes. The rear brakes aren't very good. So when you try to brake and turn in, the tires aren't digging in. The front tires are not digging in on the surface. So the thing just wants to go and slide. So the front end just wants to slide out from underneath you, which is not ideal. So these hairpin turns are not as easy as I thought. How about another launch? Alrighty, are you guys ready? Get it, go! <laughs> She's an absolute ripper. Fly by. Pin. She gets a move on, that's for sure. That's not good for that front shock tower. Yeah, it's hard not to overshoot it. Very difficult not to overshoot it. Ooh, almost hit the tree. That's kind of cool. Something cool about running a gas powered machine though, they're fun. They make a lot of noise though, so they can kind of draw in some attention as you can see the people uh, standing over there watching, but hopefully it's entertaining them and not annoying them. And tumbled it again. I kind of want to jump her off this berm right here and just send her that way into the grass. We might break it, but hey, at least it'll be entertaining, right? <laughs> we'll bring her right through here and just try to send her off of this. The way this thing jumps though, it doesn't necessarily jump flat. Off a jump like this, it'll probably kind of kick the rear end up. That would be my guess, but it's at least worth a shot. Here we go. Yep, it did what it what I thought it would. It kicked up the rear end. Maybe we'll jump her off of this one. Might break it. Actually landed it. Landed it. Yeah, when I lock up the rear, it's kind of frustrating. I need front brakes on this machine. I 
I think it's safe to say this track is probably a little too small for this machine. And tumbled it. By the way, guys, if you are enjoying this video, make sure to show your support by hitting that like button. Also, subscribe and hit that bell if you haven't done so yet. Yeah, on this surface, the tires are not really getting any traction. Into the thickets and stuck. Let's get her pulled out of here. Uh. Ooh, on the brakes. How is this thing not broken yet? Especially with that shock tower being partially broken already. I'm surprised it's still going. I'm honestly very, very surprised. A little bit of air. Oh, that was a big time nose right into that jump. Maybe we'll go out here in the open real quick and we'll do some flybys in the grass. I've never done a speed test with this machine. I really need to get a GPS on this thing, take it out to my uh, top speed location, and uh, do some stop top speed passes uh, with the GPS strapped on, because I'm kind of interested to know. I'm pretty sure this has stock gearing, so we're probably talking somewhere in between 40 and 45 mile an hour, but I'd kind of just be interested in, you know, kind of confirming that. Okay, we'll go right here, do a few rips out here, and then maybe we'll jump back on the track. <laughs> Here comes a flyby. Pinned. Yeah, I want to jump this berm again. So much for the track action. I'm having a difficult time, like I said, staying on the track. But I do want to send it. I want to send it big, because if we're going to break it, I want to get it on camera, right? Only makes sense. You guys think just gather as much speed and just hit this one right here? All right, here she comes. Somehow landed that. I still have no idea how this thing hasn't broken. I wouldn't consider this thing a basher. It's doing surprisingly well.
She almost died there. Look at how bad that nosed. That nosed super hard into the track. Right at me. Oh! And she turned off. Maybe this is time to wrap up the video. Well, first let me make sure she still runs. I don't know if that just turned off because of that hard of an impact or... Oh no, something might be broken, guys. You guys hear that? Like it feels like there's a ton of play in this. That's not good. It's almost like it's starting though. What the heck? Oh, you know what? Maybe it, it might have just been our, our spark plugs coming out. I can tell you that. Spark plugs coming out. That might be it. Like it feels like the paws on this aren't gripping all the way either. It feels like there's a lot of play in this, this pull start. There, now it feels all right. Yeah, I think what's happening is a lot of air is getting in through, I think this is loosened up maybe, or it, maybe we damage the threads, who knows, on that impact. Something happened where there's a lot of play. A lot of play in that spark plug now, and I actually don't have my spark plug tool with me. I don't have any tool to fix that. Body overall held up so-so. Hopefully that's going to be a simple fix. But uh, if you guys did enjoy the video, hit that like button, subscribe, hit that bell, and uh, stay tuned for the next video with this machine. Later.